minute. With all the confusion of being born and being adopted, no one has formally welcomed you to Earth. <laughs> so, on behalf of the planet, welcome. <laughs> if this is your first time here, maybe I can give you a few pointers. Uh, let's see. Well, just remember, your body is your temple but it is also your dance hall and your bowling alley. <laughs> You'll find that everything tastes better chunky. <laughs> and if you ever feel that the world is a horrible place and you'll never have a reason to smile again, just hide a tiny little harmonica in your nose and get into a crowded elevator. <laughs> morning, honey. Good morning. Hmm. Morning, little man. Oh, honey, please don't call him little man, because it'll give him a complex about his size and lock him into a gender role. Excuse me, but check his diaper. He's locked into a gender role. Having a penis does not lock you in. I want to teach him that he's male and female, and spirit and matter, and earth and sky. Okay, you do that. I'll teach him to shave. <laughs> Who's that so uh, early? It's my folks. They're going to help us out with the baby. Oh, great. Hey, brother father. Good morning. <laughs> I smell new life. Come on in. Oh. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Who are all these people? Oh, they're going to help us with the baby. Why? <laughs> because it takes a village to raise a child, Greg. <laughs> It does? <laughs> Greg, this is Naomi. She's our spiritual advisor and storyteller. I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> She's taken a vow of silence. Of course. <laughs> and over here is Kim. Kim is from the San Francisco Lactation League, and she's going to supply breast milk. You mean uh, you're oh, going to? Oh, man, from here. <laughs> and uh, this is Prospero Dagbovi. He's from Togo. I'll teach the boy about his African heritage. Uh, uh, well, we were going to do that. So you have a job? No. Then you weren't going to do a very good job now, were you? I guess not. Well, thanks for coming, everybody. You can just throw your stuff anywhere, and then we'll figure out where everyone's going to sleep later. Sleep, Dharma? Throw, <laughs> is, people are going to stay with us? Yeah, it's our family tradition. Oh, OK. Well, uh, how long do they plan on being here? I don't know. I mean, as long as we need them. Yeah, well, uh, I'm good. They can go. <laughs> Wait a minute. Does this make you uncomfortable? <laughs> yes. But you were raised the same way. No, I wasn't. What about the nanny, the tutor, the maid? Yeah, but that's not the same thing. Those people were all paid to take care of me. Oh. Hey, good news, everybody. Greg wants to pay no. you. No. <laughs> You two are going to want some time alone, so why don't you pick a date night and we'll cover for you once a week. Oh. Okay, well, that does actually sound helpful. See, <laughs> if you give this a shot, you might like it. Come on, everybody, let's decide on a feeding rotation so our new parents can get some sleep. Wait a minute, Abby, yeah. why do you get to decide the feeding rotation? Well, somebody has to do it, Lair. Maybe we should vote on it. Maybe we should draw straws. Maybe we should vote as to whether or not we should draw straws. God, this brings back so many memories. <laughs> you know, maybe we should hold all votes until Greg's parents join no, the village. No, Abby, I don't know. My parents aren't really village people. <laughs> be part of this well, and maybe yeah. I should go talk to them. Dharma, I, I think my mother's having a hard time with the whole adoption thing. I think we should just give her some space. I don't know. I really think I should go talk to them. Okay. All in favor of giving <laughs> Kitty some space, say aye. Aye. <laughs> you can go. <laughs> I'm sorry she can't see you, but she's uh, taken to her bed. Why? Is she sick? No, but if anyone asks, Oh, wait, uh, yes. It's about us 
that's adopting the baby, isn't it? I don't care if he's black. <laughs> this is your grandpa. He's probably going to talk about you being black a lot, so just bear with him. He processes things out loud. Would you mind? Well, what, what, what should I do with him? Just talk to him. He loves to listen to people talk. Hi. You know, I, I've never told anyone this, but I've always had this thing for Lena Horne. <laughs> a bra for you. Very nice. It's got underwire. Huh? That's wonderful. Come on, Kitty, what's wrong? Nothing is wrong, Dharma. You win. What? You win. You are in charge of the family now. <laughs> so what's next? We all move to the moon and farm broccoli under some big glass bubble? <laughs> hi, hi. Just tell me what to wear. I don't understand. Dama, I do not have the strength to try to make everything appear normal anymore. Kitty, everything is normal. Oh. oh, yes, of course it is. My son marries a woman he's known for one day. Moves into a building I wouldn't store my coats in. His mother-in-law talks to plants. His father-in-law hears them talk back. And now, without any notice, without any warning, I am a grandmother. And I am not like Edward. I... I do not care that this baby is black. <laughs> oh, you poor thing. <sighs> oh, dear God, what is she going to do to me now? Okay, that settles the feeding rotation. Let's talk about where the baby's going to sleep. Well, my ancestors constructed hammocks for infants from the stomach linings of elephants. 